I'm Kyla Lee at Acumen Law, and today I'm answering your frequently asked questions about immediate roadside prohibitions. The review process works in one of two ways. The first way is through a written review. You'll be given a date and a time, always 9.30 a.m., for the submissions to be made to Road Safety BC. If you're representing yourself, you'll be asked to send your submissions in 48 hours before the review time in order to ensure they actually reach the adjudicator in time for your hearing. The adjudicator will then consider the submissions and render a decision. If you elect to have an oral hearing, a date and time for the hearing will be scheduled. It will either be at 9, 10, 11, 12, or 1 o'clock. Those are the only time slots available, and they're only available Monday to Friday. The adjudicator will call you for the review hearing, and you'll have the opportunity to make submissions in response to the police evidence and to adduce evidence in your defense to show that you can prove one of the grounds of review. If you hire a lawyer, a lawyer can appear at the oral hearing or make written submissions on your behalf. If you have a lawyer, the lawyer may wish to have you provide evidence, either by way of affidavit or by oral testimony in the review hearing. Once the review hearing is completed, the decision will be rendered. The decision must be rendered within 21 days of the date that you receive the prohibition unless the adjudicator applies for an extension of the time frame. The extensions can happen for any reason the adjudicator deems fit so long as they're not able to render a decision within the 21-day time limit. Extensions are not uncommon and you should anticipate that it is likely that you will receive an extension. 